We have our first presenter, Saikat Bhanti. Saikat is a GIS professional who loves maps and contributes to OpenStreetMap and Mapillary. He has led and has been a part of many mapping community projects, conducts mapping workshops, inspires people to join and contribute to data to improve the maps. He is here to talk about the challenges of mapping vulnerable areas with OpenStreetMap. Over to you, Saikat. Sorry about my voice. Uh, so, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about mapping vulnerable areas with OSM. Uh, so, I'm going to talk about one island called Koramara. It is uh, located at Bay of Bengal. It's a small island on top of Sagar Island. Sagar Island is uh, one of the big islands in, uh, uh, island in Bay of Bengal. So, <clears throat> there are some quick facts that you can see that Sundarban uh, they lost. 2,450 hectare in the last decade, and uh, the Koram even lost 60% uh, lost uh, of his land in the last two decades. And there are a lot of other um, islands called Bainfor, Dilwajara, uh, and uh, other two may island totally disappeared because of a lot of climatic change and uh, some, some of the responsible for human activities. And uh, according to some uh, oceanographer researchers, they are telling that Sundarban uh, area sea level is rising. It is very minimum, but it is rising because of some climatic change and global warming. The data used for this study it is Lancet data, one of uh, the most popular open source data. Uh, like two time periods I analyzed uh, with uh, that one Python library called Rastario to detect the land and water, the difference between land and water, and I extracted the um, land body from uh, that, uh, using that. So the ended uh, years was uh, 1990, uh, that 1991 and 2018. So, and uh, OSM data, I started mapping this area in uh, 2016. But before that, from uh, changed history, I got that someone uh, dropped some loads in 2012 and 2014. After that, I did map uh, each of every buildings, and there are a lot of uh, uh, cultivation going on in this island because of fertile and just situation. So I mapped those things. Uh, uh, at a time, I mean, from some uh, researchers' articles and uh, report. Uh, we found that 40,000 people are residing in this small island. But uh, right now, according to Wikipedia also, in 2016, only 3,000 people are staying in this area because people are leaving this island because of the climate change. And um, after some days, they are losing their uh, houses and land uh, for staying because of the sea level rising and you can say the climate change. So there are some numbers you can see inside that uh, in 1991 it is around 450 hectare a year, right now it is half of that. So and uh, scientists are saying that in uh, coming to 50 years there will be no Goramar Island uh, in this way of the world. So how we can conclude this study that uh, you know OSM gives the history every edit. So if this island disappears, <coughs> OSM will keep the history and there is a human civilization. So and other thing is uh, like uh, we can plan like anything. Uh, if we map some area before disaster, we can easily estimate of what is the loss. Government can easily uh, found that how much uh, house was there in 2016 or 18 and after that nothing is there. Uh, uh, I'll share the link uh, later that you can easily interact with this area. I have an interactive uh, map in this area. And few <coughs> reference I took, these are the reference. And that, that that is a real scenario of the ocean. And that is actually the right end of the uh, embankment. And that greenery, that uh, rice cultivation is the left hand of that island. Is very enriched fertile soil, so the rice and betel leaf cultivation is, I mean, they are the mass producing island in West Bengal for betel leaves and also rice, very good quality rice they are cultivating. That's my time. Thank you.